Inevitably, people wait till the last minute to do their Christmas shopping, and that's fine if you're at a department store. It's not so fine if you're building custom things. But a customer came to me the other day and she asked if I had time to build a live edge cribbage board. Now, I've worked with live edge materials for charcuterie boards before. I've worked to build cribbage boards before, but I've never put the two together. So this seemed like kind of a fun project and I said, sure. So in this video, I'm gonna take my CNC and I'll show you how easy it was to lay this, lay this down and actually create the project. Now, if you're here primarily for laser things, uh, I hope you still enjoy this because at some point, whether you know it or not yet, you're going to need a CNC machine and this might inspire you to see how easy it is and how it can help you with your laser projects. So Christmas is coming and we don't have a lot of time, so let's get started and I'll start with the design. So I've loaded the project up here in VCarve and I'm not gonna go through the details of how I put this all together, but suffice it to say, I have an SVG file with this template in it and I'll upload that to the member site. I'll also put this VCarve project there. If you have VCarve, you can just use this project verbatim if you actually wanna build something like a cribbage board. Now, all I did here was create three simple tool paths. The first one is, is what I call trim and it really just cuts the length of the material to the size I want. Then I have a tool path that uses a, a 15 degree V bit and carves out the, the lettering and all the lines. And finally, I have a drill tool path which drills all the holes. The total time here was about, I don't know, 45 minutes maybe. I, I don't generally stand there and watch my CNC, so I, I don't know exactly, but uh, it, it happens fairly quickly. It's really simple to actually lay this down. If you can put a piece of material on a CNC and get, and get your, your zeros, you'll have no trouble making this thing. Now I popped over to the 3D view and I, if I render the tool paths here, you'll see that this looks remarkably like a cribbage board. Uh, I also have a design for the back of the board, which has a slot in it for the pins. And I won't show you that design. Uh, I'll show it what, it what it looks like in the final output. Uh, this is this is what we need though. So I'll create the CNC file for this and then I'll do some material prep. Now I mentioned the customer wanted a live edge board and she specifically asked for one with the bark still on, which meant I had to pretty carefully select the slab of wood. First thing I'm gonna do though is run it through my planer and plane it down to something close to an inch. Uh, that'll be the final thickness. And then I'm gonna run it through my drum sander just to get it down to that final, uh, final thickness and smooth off any bumps that may have been left there by the planer. Uh, this particular board had a couple of uh, knot holes in it, so I'm gonna fill those with uh, black uh, CA and I'll accelerate it. And then I'll do one final sanding uh, just to get rid of that. Uh, again, just rough sanding here down to the thickness. But I'll let you in on a little trick. I'm gonna do almost the final sanding before I put this on the CNC, and that's because after engraving, you don't wanna be doing heavy sanding. So I'll take this down to about 320 grit to start and then I'll do some final sanding after engraving. Now, just before I put this on the CNC, I need to do one final thing, which is to find the center, and that's because there are no square edges on this board. It's just kind of a random piece of wood. So I'm gonna do all of my engraving reference to the center mark, and I'll just put a little cross there and then put it onto the CNC. Now I'll skip the trim tool path because it's really just cutting the ends off the board. Uh, I start with the line tool path here, and I'm only going down about a millimeter with a 15 degree tool bit, so, uh, it's not going to be uh, very deep and uh, you have to be really careful after you sand, which is why I sanded first. Then I'm going to drill all the holes. This is really one of those uh, start, the, start the tool path and go get a coffee because this is the one that takes all the time. And then finally I'll flip the board over. Again, I'll mark a center. It's not critical that this center and the center on the other side are perfectly aligned because these two things I'm engraving here are, are physically not connected but uh, I drilled out the hole here for the pins and there's two little round holes, one on each end of this, where I'm gonna put some magnets to hold the lid on. So all the CNC work is completed and you can see it was actually pretty drama free. Now all I have to do is finish the board and I'm gonna start by taking just a, a wire brush and lightly rubbing the edges of that bark just to get rid of anything that's loose there because I am gonna finish the side of this with, uh, with some, some finish. Just a light rub, we're not trying to break the bark off. And then I'll do that final sanding and, and that takes it down to about 600 grit on, on each side. 
Okay, so the board is completely ready for finishing now and it's all been sanded, all the edges are, are all the bark has been cleaned off. And I'm just gonna start with two coats of tongue oil and I'm gonna do both sides of the board and, the, and that bark on the side. For the bark, I'm gonna use a, a, some kind of foam brush and then, and then t tap it up. This is rub on, so you don't want thick coats of this stuff. Just two thin coats is all you need. Now I want all of that engraving to stand out a bit on the, on the wood. So what I'm gonna do is fill it with acrylic paint and this is why I put the tongue oil on to start with because I did want those holes to be sealed up. So I don't have to be all that careful uh, putting the paint in and you can see I'm just slopping it on here. Now I'm not going crazy, but I don't really have to worry too much about the getting it over, over paint because now I'm gonna take just a, a damp paper towel on a, on a block of wood and just rub it across and you can see it just takes it right off and it leaves the paint in inside all of the engraving. So it finishes really nicely. All right, so I'm getting down to the finishing touches here. Last thing to do is to put on the final polyurethane coating and I'm using this wipe on stuff again and it works really well. It's a satin finish so it doesn't give you that really glossy look. You can get it in gloss but I prefer not to have it too shiny. And I'm just rubbing it on and I'll put three to four coats of this on. It's very thin again, so we won't ever get brush lines or blobs of any kind of finish. And I'll also do the bark on the sides as well with this. So, uh, so that's the finish. And the very last thing to do is to put the pins in. I've made the door, I have the door there, you can see it. And uh, I glued some magnets in and drop it on and everything works fantastic. And then I'll put some felt feet on the, on the bottom. Again, nothing is square here, so where the feet actually go isn't super critical, so I didn't bother measuring them or anything. And that's it, the board is finished. So hopefully you've seen this project is really easy to create if you've got a CNC and almost any CNC can make this. So keep that in mind. Most importantly, because you can build one of these in maybe an hour or two of total time, you can make quite a bit of money on them. So keep that in mind as well. Now, no video would be complete without a bit of a flyover here. So here's the finished board. Uh, the, the surface of this looks fantastic with that rub on finish and the black paint in all of the engraving uh, definitely makes it pop. So the customer's really gonna love this and I'm quite happy how it turned out. In fact, I made a couple of these. So uh, you know, hopefully you'll make one too and we'll wind down. So get out there, make your world and I'll see you next time.